Come have fun with us and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody? I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And welcome to our reaction to Naruto Shibuden episode 458. Welcome. Naruto slash Naruto Shibuden is one of the anime we want to watch in our lifetime. Yeah. On the channel, we are covering all of those anime. There's 101 of them. And if you want to see the full list, the link is in the description box below. Yeah. Or watch the outro to this video. Check it out. So far, Anna, we finished uh, five animes on that list. Anna? Yeah. Your first time watching Naruto? Yes. And last time we saw Akatsuki, you know, the behind the scenes, right. uh, as you would call it. Um, how they recruit members different missions that they do. It's interesting watching these episodes. It makes me realize that Itachi never really fit in with them that well. No. I mean, he kind of kept to himself, so I guess they never Question. questioned anything. He but did like, the job. When, yeah, exactly. But when you now that I know the full story and I, I watch this, I feel like Itachi is always kind of on the outside, mm. you know. I would say he never really fit in anywhere. Yeah, that's true. And sad. Sadly, yeah. Um, last time we ended on the note of him uh, coming back to the village, right? Uh, mm. That's the events. Uh, that's the first time we saw Itachi. Yeah, after the tuning exam. Uh, Naruto uh, episode like 80 um, where he comes back after the third Okage has died we know from information we got in the future that it seemed like he came for Naruto but no he came for for Sasuke to check on Sasuke mm. yeah well, not only to check but also to remind the <laughs> to remind the higher ups higher like ups. hey don't touch <laughs> don't mess with my brother mm. so let's see let's see yeah. what happens here because if you remember it's a warning for them not to mess with him, but he's gonna mess with his brother. Yeah, true. So. Oh, wow, they're just there. Sasuke. That dango place is popular, huh? Yeah. I just think this here, his thoughts mm -hmm. there. While this is happening. Mm -hmm. I remember he says, yeah, like, you're not strong enough, you don't hate me enough. Your hatred is weak, yeah. Yeah. But I wonder, truly, is he impressed? Is he thinking like, oh, my brother has gotten so <laughs> strong. Calm down. Yeah. You're far from it, though. That's cold, man. Just beating him up like that. No matter the the real intention, yeah. you know, still. And then torturing him like this. Mm. He did what he went there to do. <laughs> must hurt. Ah! お前は佐助を連れ戻したがっていたな。この葉を襲ってきたらどうすると聞いているんだ。なんだ。なんで佐助がそんなことするわけねえだろ。佐助。You'd <laughs> That's always been Naruto, right? The, the solution where everything goes well is the one epic. I guess you would say there's a kind of strength there in Naruto's words, even if he calls it uh, naivety. Mm. That 
Itachi didn't have to try to yeah, try exactly. to to try to make it to so get that the best nobody results. Yeah, has to die. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and you know we do we've had countless conversation right about like Naruto, kind of idealistic, kind of naive, mm. but you have to strive for that. Right. And sure, when things happen, like if you think of the war, right? Mm. He said he will protect everyone, and obviously he has he didn't, and he yeah. can't. But he's still trying, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, exactly. Even after people died, he's still trying to protect everyone, right? right. It would be easy to go back on his word. He never goes back on his word. Right. And be like, okay, right, I can't do it. I can't protect everyone. Uh, so I... I see both, right? I see on a way it's idealistic and and the real world you have to think of the what ifs. Right. But also if you never try to get the best outcome, you're never going to get the best outcome. Yeah, exactly. In that sense, it's interesting that Itachi said that about Sasuke, he's still a blank canvas and he can be painted any color. Mm. When it feels now looking back at how he got convinced to assassinate his clan it feels like he was a blank canvas, mm. you know. Yeah, it was getting pulled from different directions. Yeah, exactly. Right? Had exactly. to make a choice. Uh, but again, he's thinking, and that's the way he asked Naruto the question, right? He's thinking in these binaries, which seems like the most logical options, right? Either this will happen or that will happen. Mm. And then Naruto is always like, no, the third thing will happen in which everything is fine. Yeah. Which sounds idealistic and dreamlike. But if Itachi had went for that third option. Yeah, if Itachi had been more <laughs> idealistic and would, would have said, like, no, we're not, not going to let my family do a revolution and I'm not going to let you kill them. I'm going to yeah. find a way to stop it, you know. Mm -hmm. Would he have been able to do it? And the way Shisui was trying to go for that. Yeah. But uh, Denzo had other things to say. It's interesting also the question that uh, Itachi asks Naruto there, like, why are you going after him? He's just a rogue ninja. He's just a rogue ninja. Nobody came for him, you know? Mm. I mean, obviously nobody would have because he never made that kind of ties with anyone except for Shisui who was dead. Yeah, but also they would have had to send people, right? The, the third Okage and... Uh... Yeah, but I mean, if he had made a friend, the friend would have tried to go after him. Oh, you mean in the same sense that Jiraiya went after Orochimaru? Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and mm. Naruto is going after Sasuke even okay. when he's not necessarily sent by the village, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he had made friends like that with Kakashi, for example, you know, would Kakashi have gone after him? Mm. But he kept, he always kept to himself. And, and his best friend was already dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Probably she would have gone after him, but, mm. you know. I think it makes him feel better, at least about Sasuke thinking that Sasuke has friends the way maybe he never did, except for Shisui, who was dead. No, I remember. That was such a good scene. I mean, the whole, the whole fight afterwards. Mm. <laughs> With the smile. Ore wa omae wo zutto aishite iru. And we're back. Mm -hmm. I guess in a way it did tie back to it. It feels so post-apocalyptic. Post Everybody's gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
The savior of the world. <laughs> okay, so we're back here. Yeah. So before we start again uh, in the present time, I want to ask you, right? How do you foresee things going? Not well. <laughs> Not well. I don't. Oh. I said, I said that before. I think. Uh, I feel like Akashi might die mm. in this. Might die. Might die. <laughs> and the reason why is because. I, I don't know. I don't really have a reason why. It's just a feeling that I have. <laughs> because I thought from the beginning that the three of them would would fight, mm. you know, together. But that then also Kakashi is with them. And I don't see how, like, they've made a point out of seeing, you know, these three kids have exceeded expectations mm -hmm. in terms of like their their growth their strength right and sure sasuke and naruto are literal monsters in this world but sakura is not far behind yeah i mean the strength that she has the healing power that she has you mm -hmm. know she's way beyond compared to the other kids of their generation yeah, she's the... way ahead and then you're right that these two are like demigods right mm. kagashi is not kagashi is awesome he has like so much strength, but I don't think that Kakashi is, I mean, not, he's not at this level. You know mm. what I mean? He, Kakashi is what you would expect someone like extremely strong, like the, the top of the top to be of like the regular people. Regular strong ninjas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but he's not at this kind of a level and they're fighting a literal god right now in their yeah. world, you know? Kakashi is not at this level. It feels like of all of them here, he's probably the weakest. And that's not to say he's not going to put up an awesome fight. I'm sure he will. But I think he'll die doing so. And uh, you think they'll take down uh, Madara? I mean, yeah, of course they will. That's, that's, that's the... That's not, it's, an, it's an anime like this, you know. It's going to end with the bad guy going down. But I forgot to mention, I'm sure we'll get even more... Um, insight on Madara before this ends. Okay. Well, let's see. The way he sees himself. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Look how happy yeah. they are! <laughs> They're all happy! They're cocoons! <laughs> now they just sent a bit older the children, children to yeah. war. の平和には辿り着けない。人は腹の奥、腹は玉で見せ合うことはできない。死の戦いは止まらぬ。止まらぬどころか、砂糖を作ったことによって軍事力は高まり、戦いは対戦と呼ばれる規模に膨れ上が
I hear the voice, it's Black Zetsu talking. Oh yeah, but... Wait, was he the bad guy all along? Wait, 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 wait. He said that Black Zetsu is uh, something of him, right? His will, yeah. Yeah, his will, something like this. Wait, 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 wait. You know, this this gives me flashes of that one scene when Naruto had to fight red-eyed Naruto. Mm -hmm. You know, like it was part of the, the training to get um, to gain control of the Ninetale. Yeah. It, I mean, obviously it's not the same thing, right? But is what it's saying, what Zetsu is saying, is it that like I was the darkness in you and I pushed you to do this. Maybe, maybe. I think that's what's happening. I think like it will be a, a sort of No, there was a time when you were hopeful. There was a time when you saw a better way. But you let your darkness take over. To the point where it literally manifested into a being. Hmm. That being Zetsu. Okay, well let's see. Of course I know what's happening, so I'm not gonna you know confirm or deny any this of really cool. your theory. Oh. Mm. Not a dream anymore, huh? <laughs> I did not expect for this to happen. <laughs> the way the music kicks in, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. You thought you were doing something and... Oh, that's terrible what's happening to him. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> She did it before? Preserve, that sounds like... Why Zetsu? Oh, wow. How does it feel to see your dream shattered? Yawns longer than you. Mm, change the tablet. Yeah. I did you. Gosh. A taste of your own medicine. I mean, dude, I can point <laughs> so many moments where you were like so many. Oh, I don't think I think it's too late for him. 
It's Kaguya. Yeah. Super grip. Super <laughs> Kaguya. There we go. She did it before? That's insane. That makes it easier though. What are your what are your thoughts? <laughs> that makes it easier to root for someone now. Because mm. I don't know what story she might have, but this is kind of too obviously a quest for power. For her own power. Mm. You know what I mean? No, I don't I think there will be a uh, I wonder. Wait. Because th that's the thing, you know, about all the antagonists of Naruto. They all work so well and they make this story so awesome because all of them have layers to them. And then when you hear their stories, you're like, I kind of get that, mm -hmm. you know? And even with Madara, who like you, like, you could not agree with anything that he's been doing, but you get his story. So I wonder, does she also have a story? I have lots of thoughts about this. I'm not going to get into any of them uh, because I think they might they tend to be involved with some things that you haven't seen yet. I guess uh, we'll talk more about it later on. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting uh, turn of event. Um, I think it's very interesting how they made Madara in this episode. You know, I, I've been saying like, yeah, sure, you, you can't agree with what he's doing, but you get his story. But I feel like with Madara even more so than with other antagonists they've been fighting so far. It is much easier to go against him. He does have this narrative of I'm the best, I'm the savior, I'm the whatever, you know? It's so much about him. Mm. But I guess that's that's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. But I think one has to also realize, and that has been the case with several characters, what having this amount of power would do mm. to you in terms of your ego, right? And I don't mean ego like, you know, I'm the best, only I matter, but ego in the sense of like, um, things seems to be centered around you because it seems like only you can mm. do things. So, like Itachi. Like Itachi, right? Uh, Ashirama also took mm. upon his shoulder the mission yeah. to, you know, change the world. Yeah. You, know, you, you need to have a certain level of you know, not only self-confidence, it's not even about that, it's like the certainty that you You're the only one who are the it. person who can do it, yeah. right? Um, and so Ashirama, Itachi are both examples of that. Uh, Pain is an example of that. Naruto for a while was an example of that, right? He goes out of the, the turtle uh, island right where they were hiding him mm, thinking yeah. like i will end this I'll war and this war i'll protect everyone single-handedly yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. true 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 and so when you get to a level like madara right to and he often would say no one but ashirama was my equal right mm. so then even more you think no one but me especially after ashirama is dead and after you've judged that Ashirama has failed in changing the mm. world, then the only one left is, is me. me. The yeah. only one who can save the world is me. Right. Huh. But seems like he was fooled. He was fooled. All along. I think another aspect of this is that now, because I was sure he will end up in a position, even if it's like just before dying, he will end up in a position of seeing the wrongs of his ways. And I kind of wanted that to come from them, from, you know, Naruto and the others. Mm. Rather than from, oh, there is someone even stronger than me out there who's going to put me in my place. Mm. Which I, I guess, you know, it will lead to this eventually when he'll realize that he thought he was doing what he wanted to when really all along he was just a pawn in someone else's like ages long game. He thought he was ending the cycle when really he was just a part of it. Also, we figure out what the white Zetsus are. Yeah. Zombies. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said yeah. preserved, yeah. like a mummy. Transformed, okay. yeah. That was it. We're going to be there for future reactions to Naruto Shippuden. If you want to be there for those videos, we invite you to subscribe to this channel. The button is down below. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking it if you didn't. Have, Have a nice day. day.